despertado, encadenado. Oh, vela, chao, vela, chao, vela, chao, chao, chao. La tierra mía me la han robado y han incendiado mi país. Abran sus ojos, hay un tirano. Oh, vela, chao. On my last day at school, training your feet on the right side of history, or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. True, Yaris. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! Si, sí, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Sí, señor presidente. Huh. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered the us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question. Miss Garcia, when I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Pinga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I am ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Duh. Yeah, stop. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. How you doing? Heard you killed Dr. Reyes. <laughs> Hope you're not losing sleep. I know Paolo's got a lot going on with that guy, but we need all hands on deck. How are you feeling? My body is fine. My soul? Still waiting to find out. Shit.
attention, whoever you are. You are trespassing in illegal airspace. Turn around now or we will fire upon you. Yeah? Okay, careful, Danny. Can't hide from me. I'm near Aleste. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in Aleste. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo's father, Gabriel. Libertad is taking out a full circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news?
El tigre. That's me. You must be that kid Clara mentioned. Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. You're baby tigre. And don't worry. I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's navy. A real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Val carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. I love it. <coughs> all of it. You, uh, have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby tigre. Minus the coke. Been there. I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab rock? See. Si. Call me when you get there. And bring grappling gear. You're going to need it. Now get moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby tigre. Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the crab rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we Garriels are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See? Si. Got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. The the Garria must oh, be sure footed, oh. like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Venga. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. Those a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know who is on the blood. The friendly soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. Goats. Fucking show offs. Accidentally unblock it. Exactly. Disappear up here would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Huh! <laughs> 
Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many careers are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us, it's our actions. It's like therapy. Bendición. In the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey. Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my <laughs> baby Tigre. <sighs> Don't want Come to here. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Not for free. Remember the three guerrilla pimps? Clara, be I've met the legends. El tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes.
think you might need a nap, big guy. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're La Moral, and the Leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ha, ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Nice throw. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh-huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Batter up! But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. 
I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Hey, thanks. The supply. <gasps> Palapinga! El Tigre! Feast of the Revolution! You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. A quien le importa. Or maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute.
I've got our next move. Say, I need you to get the word to my patients in Savannah that I finally have... Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVira to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre, and we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. You mean Hope you have good camera skills. Combo? What do you kids say? This doesn't change how I feel about La Mora. But it does mean I can some of the damage they've done. They fought off a lot of soldados to get those supplies here. Which means they've put targets on our backs now. I'm used to having a You done with them? Eyes up, Danny. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits. Until one day she told us she had some food news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that Biovita place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm wondering something terrible has happened. Vamos. 
medics. Let's go. Got a bad feeling about sounds came from in there. Lights on. Wonder if anybody's home. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing for me? They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? I need Castillo's not going to get away with this. What are they doing with their bodies? What is that red smoke? Carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. Need to take to think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. Those look like cages. But for what? These people are sick. Really sick. Pinga. That must be. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo.
El Tigre have got the pigs. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the bien. You shoot the tree. He's a monster. You done with them? To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Getting close, I think. So you know, Helena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Oloviara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around, and if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. Unidentified pilots, 
land your craft immediately. This is your last and only warning. Honron, I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember, curfew. We are depending on you. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you too. My name's... I'll talk to my people, honey. Big Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Mierda! Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Moral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Hola. Que bola. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. <clears throat> Take all the rasol. Be nice to Be him. Be nice, horse. Andando. Go! Whoa! You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great <laughs> if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die, there's no one replacing them? Nadie. On top of that, the farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We try. 
None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of once we shut down. Pinga. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with... What's going on? You're with La Morale, right? Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. My name's Calixto. Danny! I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. Couple months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families are asleep. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. That show passed. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through there and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. I can't get you any closer. This is great! Gracias, mi amigo! Good luck saving those people!
Oscello. Thank you, Guerrilla. Ningún they problema. put some of our fighters in a container over the hole. Take them. Elena, I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that we don't want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die.
Yelena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? Come back to El Agujero. Shit is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Straight from the shop. Try to keep it in one piece, okay? Thanks. Lara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, let's work with that rescue. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez, Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes, protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See! Si! The part where you put the go 